Tim, how long have you been keeping bees for? 50 years, since I've lived from 11 years old. Keeping bees is something that you can just go in and forget about the whole world because bees are a different species or they look after themselves. When you go in there, they're so fascinating, they just take your mind completely out of anything else you're worried about, anything like that. They just relax you and they're so calm and they're just lovely creatures. They just go in your own little world doing what they want to do. And you can't change them and that's what they do. You can try and um, manage bees. You do, well, you do manage them, but they'll always do what they want to do. They're more intelligent than what you really think. It's just a normal wax frame with wire reinforcing it, which is just a printed wax for the bees. It gives them a foundation to start. That's what we call it, foundation. Then the bees will actually build these out. You can see from there, they build it, keep on building them out exactly. But, and then they'll lay eggs in her. And if turn it over, you can see they start putting honey in the top because it's the outer frame, but normally they lay your eggs and they keep on building them up to the right depths and every one is perfect by the bees. And I've got this swarm, that was really good, but I did notice I went in there yesterday and there's a load of dead bees on front of the hive. Somebody has been spraying somewhere in the location and the bees have picked it up and there's loads of dead bees in front of my hive. And that is a trouble if you spray in the daytime. If you're going to spray anything, spray it late in the evening when the bees are in the hive. So when you do pesticide, it actually goes into the flowers and by morning it's all clear. So it's two months later and we're going to go into the hives. This is where the honey is kept. Careful. Got honey on there. See how the frame. So you can move these across. Oh, look at that juicy, juicy honey. And there you are. Let's just start getting full now. Let's start to cut that off. If you look down in there now, you see a wire mesh. That wire mesh here, that means the queen can't come and lay eggs in here. Ah, so this is simply the yeah. honey this section. The, honey. the queen yeah. can't get there, so yeah. they're just making honey here. Yeah, no, that's where they're just capping them all off. There's no point in going on, so could I There's know. a lot of juicy honey in the middle there. Mm -mm -mm. So I put these back in because yep, that one's nearly full and that's the outside one, so that means they need another super. So your queen's not up here. This is not simply really. the the sweet I'm section, the sweetie shop. Because you've got that frame and the so queen. They're all diving in the honey. Because they think there's a forest fire. Oh, like, if anybody dies in your family, you always come and tell the bees. If anybody dies, you just go and tell the bees all about it. They need to know. Why do you think they need to know? I really, I really don't know, it's actually something, I'm not really sure why it is, I don't, I've never actually checked out why. So you don't know why, but have you done it? Yes, I've done it many times. <laughs> Superstitions are like that, aren't they? This is that grid it and is the, the queen, queen is below it's here. It's called the queen of scooters, so the queen can't get through there. Look no, at all no those. The those are what? The drones, here's a big cat drone. Oh, is that a boy bee? Yeah, and there's no one there. I don't know how they got in there, but they do somebody they do manage to squeeze themselves Ooh. through. This is what we call a brood. Mm -hmm. So the brood is the bit where the queen is. Yeah. Super. So that's for okay. honey there. Honey. So I shake well, these off. I don't want to make sure the, there's no queen on there to go to lose her. 
They're not angry, are they, these bees? No, it's a nice warm day. So you're looking for your queen? I will start looking for a queen in a minute. You move them across, so you just got a little bit of space to work. There are, there's all eggs in there. Oh, eggs. Those are all full of eggs. You see the honey ones in between. All those capped off there. The capped off ones have got the eggs in. All, all, those are all the grubs in them. So she's laying. Oh yeah, this is a, there's a drone, see a male. Oh, he's a bit bigger. Point yeah. him again. That one there. That's he's a, a fat, drone. He's a fat one. Fat boy. Those are all eggs. Is he eating the honey? He will eat honey, yes. Look at all that hanging off the bottom. Look at them. Oh, thank you, beautiful. Beautiful bees. Wow, look at that. Do you see little grubs in there? See the white, all the white? See the white? Oh, yeah, let me just try and. The white spots there, the grubs. Yeah. That's, this is the um, nursery. But see, they're running at shorter space for honey, so I've got to put a super on them. I should imagine the queen's down the bottom. There's more eggs there. It's amazing to see those little white glistening see, If you see grubs. really fluffy ones like these, these are the new the new bees. Right. And they've got shiny tops, they're the old bees. Like that one there is an older bee because he's got a shiny top. Ah. Oh. It is really peaceful here, isn't it? Yeah. They do glue everything together. <laughs> With their wax. Oh, look at this bulging out. Those, the big ones, those. Oh. So those big ones there. Those big ones are drones. And these small ones are, are, are bees, worker bees. Mm -hmm. But the big ones are drones. I can't see any queen cells. But there might be one. There's bound to be a queen cell eventually. Down the bottom. Oh. Well, when it hatches, the first job it's got to do is it's a cleaning job. Is that cleaning the hive and everything and clean all the cells and amend anything which is damaged and then it gets to work on up there so when the other bees come in so there's more drones on the ultra frames you can see can't you yeah they always try they've to got keep, black bottoms yeah big black they always try and keep the drones on the outside because they only they only eat the honey and they just hang around Having yeah, sex, just, eating honey. Well, I'm just waiting for a queen or anything there, there, just for when a queen hatches to go and mate with her. Just and eating push. and having sex. But she only mates once, doesn't she, she the queen? She only mates once, yes. And from that mm -hmm. single mating, yeah, then but she this will... one, there's quite a few drones actually mate with her at the same at the time. Really? Yeah. They keep on she fly, keeps on flying really high, and it's how many uh, drones can keep up with her. So I guess that's a way of ensuring you've got a good high flyer, good strong male, good genes. And here's the third layer. So we had the top layer that was the honey place, then there was the queen excluder, and now we're into two sections uh, of, of bee production bee brood, so the brood, brood yeah. brooding now you look at these these are a lot bigger oh look it's built off the bottom there yeah so that was a small one because i didn't have a big one they, they'll make it out if you don't if you don't give them anything they'll make it so they they sort of did an extension yeah so these are the frames that you were building back in May? Do it over the hive, you could give, if the queen does drop off, she drops back in the hive. Mm. So that's an old frame that, that needs to be changed as well. That's all brood in there. So that's all eggs all capped egg, over. All eggs, yeah, you can see oh, and you can see some little white ones, yeah. little grubs. And when you when you see the white, that's because they've just not quite been capped over. No, no, they're still feeding the, feed, feeding they're the feeding grubs. They're feeding the grubs. And then they cap them over, they stop feeding them, and how Once long capped over. do they stay capped before they hatch as bees? So they, they have to turn from a, a grub into, they crystallise then into a bee. You might see one here coming out somewhere. There we are. Actually, I think that one's his tail in first. I think that means actually cleaning. 
Oh, he cleaned the knife. I think he's cleaning the knife. <laughs> Head down, bum up. Sweep, sweep. Oh, I feel quite... Feels really special. Dishes? Sydney yeah. Osbot? Oh yeah, there's the Queen. Yeah. She always do over the hive in case. She drops off there, she's she's dodging her. She knows you she's on film. <laughs> yeah, she's underneath, she's underneath, she's underneath. She's back in. Look. Camera shy. There she is. With the when they die, what happens? Do they just drop down to the bottom and they get swept out? Yeah. I've got to be careful putting this back in now because I don't want... Cause she's on, she's they... on the edge. Those are... Those are the cells before they've been capped off, so they're still feeding yeah. you them. You look on the ones out here, the whites are very, very... very the sticks in the bottom and then they're very, very small. Mm -hmm. And those are big, fat whites. Yeah, when they get really... They'll cap them off. So they're not making a queen cell, so does that mean that they don't think that they're going to have a swarm in well, imminent? I always thought they would have made a queen cell because of their, they're getting quite full. Yeah. Yeah, with all, all these eggs in here are males. Oh, those yeah. are males? Those are all males, and these are, see the flat, those are big ones. Oh, they're really? Jones, they're the biggest, yeah. Mm. And, and these are all just workers. Oh, gosh. So they've... And there's a couple of drones there, so... So they've big, so. set, almost set. <laughs> They're bigger. The but they've sexed the eggs. Oh yeah, they always put the, yeah they always put the, mostly all the drones at the that's bottom. That's amazing because I don't know any other animal that sexes. Mm, they, they're young before they're born, but they've sexed them. They know if they're drones or if they're yeah. girls. So, based on your inspection today, what have you got to do next at this hive? What do you need? Uh, more space. More egg space or more honey more making honey space? space? More honey space. Yeah. So that's putting some more of those frames that you were making yeah, in May. I've got box of, I'll on... a box of that hive up there. I'll show you. They don't, they don't need you. Right, so we're now at a different hive. This hive is, yeah. So tell me about this. Oh. Wow. This Billy No Mates on the top. Yeah, this is the hive which got infected. So this is the hive where there was the dead bees back in May. Oh, oh hang on. Hello. Come here. I need two cakes. The queen of studio. So you've put a queen excluder on and to my uneducated eye you've got more bees down below making well, yeah, they cells. They're, they're, not they're very, making the brood, aren't they? Minute now. They're not very not a very powerful hive at all. Well their work is I guess to populate it. Yeah. Not make honey. I, I took a frame out of your hive. I was gonna say, could you take just a frame out and just swap it across? Yeah, I have, I have done that, but I just seen if you if, if it's correct enough. Yeah, there's one hatch in there. Is that one on? Oh yeah, let me get right in. Oh yeah, it's coming out. Oh. I can see his little antennae oh. being born. That's a bee being born. Oh. Welcome to the world. Look out there. He's coming. <laughs> See how fluffy he is? <gasps> There's no one just not wrong because he's very fluffy. Oh, cute. There's something wrong. What have you got here? Well, I'm not, it's, it's like a long, it's like that, and that's a long one. They're drawing it out, my God. But I'm not sure, it should be a queen cell, but I'm not sure what's good, what's this be. Is it cleaning it out? Well, or is it feeding up? There's an egg in it. Oh, and it's feeding the egg to become the queen. Well, we hope so. So is this a colony of bees without a queen at the moment? Yes. 
There was a queen, but we don't know what happened. How know. long does it take for the queen to come? Catch? Yeah. To create uh, it, a queen? It, well, it's about 14 days. And see's bottom in there. Yeah. Busily tending. I, I want to come out so I can have a look if there's an egg in it. That's a queen cell, but they're longer. They are, yeah. But they will be a lot longer, be three times as long as that again. I can't see anything in those. So they certainly have the urge to make a queen. Yeah, but she's come out, but I can't see anything inside it. Can you see an egg inside it? Put a stick. No, no, white stick no it just looks hollow. Yes, oh, no. a colony without a queen. Yeah. So what will they do if they if they don't generate a queen from these well, cells? They'll, they'll just die eventually. They'll die, or will they swarm? No, they can't swarm. They, what, they, they have to swarm with a queen. Yeah. So they swarm <laughs> when they've made a queen cell because the hive has gotten big, the hive yeah. has gotten strong. So they need another. And they need a new place, and that's when they swarm. Yeah. But right now, it's a bit like us, really, because old Boris has resigned and we ain't got a Prime Minister. We're a bit like this <laughs> bee colony. <laughs> they're just busy and then just getting on with it. Thank you for letting us be here, bees.